Hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Corina Rado for being so uh, persistent in working with my team in making sure that I have the chance to tell you a few words. I'm very proud as a Romanian um, uh, and also as the number two at NATO to see that Bucharest, my, my home city, is hosting your great organization. And uh, I wish you an exceptionally interesting uh, and useful uh, conference and also stay uh, in Bucharest and in Romania. I'm always uh, very much uh, heartened and happy to see young professionals and young leaders like yourselves, the ones specializing in, in law and labor law all over Europe, that you put so much effort and so much uh, interest in making sure that not only your profession, but our societies are moving forward. Because what we do and what we have and what you'll have as young professionals and young leaders all your lives will be perpetual transformation, uncertainty and change. We are changing. The world is changing. It's not only the war in Ukraine that is changing things and the drama and the, the atrocities that we see there and also you've seen the recent uh, uh, attack uh, on the dam uh, in, in southern Ukraine. But this is also something more profound because new technologies, the, the technological revolution is changing the way we work, the way we live, the way we do national security and defense. That's a moment of transformation like we never had before in human history, never ever before. We had industrial revolutions, one, two, three, four, now I think we are number five. We are also uh, seeing uh, geopolitics competition and great power competition coming to the forefront. We've seen that before. We've seen that before as human species and human mankind. But what you see today is an agglomeration of changes on multiple fronts in geopolitics, in economics, in technology, in IT, in biotech, in space, in, space, in cyberspace, basically all over our, our human societies. So this leads us to the fundamental question, which are the organizing principles making sure that human societies continue to thrive, to be at peace and prosper? How can we make sure that the fundamental values of freedom, democracy and rule of law, which are the underpinning of everything we do in the democratic West? If you read the Washington Treaty, your lawyers, please do read the Washington Treaty, the founding document of NATO. You'll be seeing there in the preamble. You'll be not seeing only Article 5, which is so well known, and so, so useful, and so powerful, and so, so mutually reinforcing. But you also see the fundamental values of the preamble, democracy, freedom, rule of law. So in a way, you and your profession are the, the guardians of these principles. Also the guardians of the transformation and the anxieties that come with this transformation. These are fundamental tectonic shifts in the way in which human societies are organized. And also you're the guardians of, of something else. Ideology and ideas, they never go to rest. We believed when communists fell in Europe in, 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 the, in the late 90s, early 90s, and, and then with the transformation of, of our part of Europe, we believed that we reached the end of history. No, history is back. History is here to stay with us. And you're the ones called to make history in making sure that your principles and your values and Law, law, are at the forefront of this new system of organizing human societies, disciplining strategic competition, and making sure that we keep our democracy and rule of law safe. Probably for many people, I also went uh, in Bucharest, I don't know if you do this at the, uh, uh, at the University uh, of Law of Bucharest, which I'm also an alumnus of, and I'm very proud of that. But I also know one thing. That law is not only about the judicial system. Law is the fundamental organizing principle of human societies from the very beginning and up to the end. So this is why your work is so important. That's why your contribution to making sure that we find a sort of a moral comp compass and stay true to our guiding uh, principles of, of, of rule of law, of freedom and democracy are so important for all of us. So keep up the good work. Um, uh, I know that um, uh, your contributions to this great conversation will be much appreciated. Keep me posted, keep us posted. 
keep our friends from downtown Brussels in the European Union posted. And I wish you uh, a great, great stay in Bucharest. Uh, enjoy the city, do work, and please keep us posted on your, on your work. We also have here in NATO a great team of lawyers. If some, some of you would be interested in having a career, international career, uh, we have a superb team of lawyers in the Office of Legal Affairs here at NATO. Um, this is not a job offer, but I'm just saying that you should keep in your, in your future careers an open eye to international organizations, NATO, EU, the UN, many others, that people with your talent, your vision, and your dedication to your profession and to values are so important to all of us. So good luck in Bucharest. And Corina, thank you so much for being so stubborn in uh, making sure that I have the chance to say a few words to this great group of young leaders based in Bucharest now, in my home city. Good luck. Keep me posted.